Hello everyone. I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life. Dear friends, earlier we have spoken about the scope of a project and now in this video we shall throw some light on the change of scope or variations to the project. In construction contracts there are clear provisions with respect to variations or change of scope to the works. These provisions deal with any kind of changes arising during the currency of the contract. These are not envisaged in the original contract be it either during the stage of tender preparation, feasibility studies stage or detailed project report preparation stage. As we are well aware that the contractor submits the bid on the basis of information provided in the tender documents and also based on site surveys. Any subsequent material changes in the scope of the works lead to revision in the costing of relevant items and the contract price. In earlier days, when the cash contracts were more prevalent, the emphasis for the changes, oblique variations used to be for the following. 1. Change in the alignment of the project. 2. Additions, deletions or shifting of any part of the project. 3. Change in design and drawings. 4. Change in site conditions, time, etc. In cash contracts, there were various type of categories of variations which were defined along with the process for evaluation which are detailed as 1. Increase or decrease in the BOQ quantity of one particular item. It was generally stated that minimum change in the quantity should be plus or minus 25% and at the same time its impact on the contract price should be more than 2% to qualify that particular item under variation. To absorb the impact of more than 25% variations in the quantity, new rates need to be negotiated based on district schedule of rates or market rates as the case may be. 2. Additions or alteration in any structures. Additional scope needs proper attention for preparing estimates again as per district schedule of rates or market rates. 3. Change in alignment of the project highway. This results in the change of site, thus impacting the cut and fill ratio and relevant quantities on the project. More particularly in the hilly terrain, these kinds of variations will have a huge impact in terms of cost and time. Fourth, change in the methodology or sequence of construction. To meet the ever-changing demand of the project, many times the change in sequence of construction impacts methodology, which has bearing on the cost and time of the project or relevant BOQ items. Fifth, change in design and drawings. Unlike cash contracts, nowadays EPC contracts are more prevalent, wherein the design and drawings are the obligations of the contractors rather than employer, which invites more challenges for the contractors to secure any change of scope from the government authority. In all these cases, evaluation of the variations is mainly derived from the district schedule of rates or market rates which needs proper attention by the quantity surveyors and estimation managers. Derivation of the rate analysis attracts following main points for consideration. 1. Basic rate published in the district schedule of rates. 2. Additions for leads and lifts on top of basic rates from the DSR. 3. ORATS provisions depending upon the type of terrain, etc. Fourth, profit provisions. Fifth, any premiums stated in DSR for various zones. Sixth, tax provisions, etc.
After arriving at the final rate through this rate analysis, the premium or discount quoted by the contractor over the tendered cost need to be applied to conclude the final rate for the variation items to be demanded from the government authority. In the following videos, we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration. For more details, please visit our website Daryani's Engineers and Associates Private Limited.